Aku jadi lagi. Ah, macam ni. Ani saya dia ke, dia 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 sulit, dia cari sana kan sini, dia kini ke sana, muka dia dia. Terima kasih, Majestis. The Chief Linguist is welcoming all of you to the Palace of His Royal Majesty, the distinguished fellow Neo Queen King Kantawan at the same, who has passed. He welcomes all of you to the Palace. Please start. The Chief Linguist is the Chief Linguist. The Chief Linguist is the Chief Linguist. The Chief Linguist is the Chief Linguist. The Chief Linguist is the the linguist also stated that on the 5th of April, 5th of February, His Royal Majesty was in this palace. He hosted other chiefs from the regional house in relation to the development of the Greater Accra region and also the country Ghana as a whole. At exactly 5.30, he sorted permission from the palace to go home and rest. And this is when you are going to be in the morning, 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 you are going to be in the morning. He also stated that at exactly 9.30, we had a call that His Majesty was not feeling all that well. Upon rushing him to the hospital and the kingmakers preparing themselves to see him at the hospital, upon reaching there, His Majesty was announced dead. because of the phones, she later on a few announcements. Announcement they say more on the night if they will really book of condolence. Me and the one is exactly in the custom and tradition of our people, when the chief pass, we don't just announce. But due to the current technology and communication statuses, people got to know. But in custom and traditions, the chief himself would lie on his bed and might be taken by the ancestors to a talk, maybe on some issues he has not looked carefully at. So per custom and traditions, we decided that whatever was said around that time, the Jasse and the Kinbekes came out stating that it was false due to the fact that they believe strongly that His Majesty could revive and the ancestors could also bring him back to continue his good job that he was doing. And due to that, after two months of waiting, the Kingmakers the traditional council officially had a press conference and announced the death of His Royal Majesty. Upon that, they continued on the 19th of last month, of last month, they opened the Book of Condolence so that all well wishes would troop in and then I mean, pen down their relationship and how they felt about the demise of His Majesty. We have had couple of guests from the presidency, we've had the vice president, we've had the chief of staff, we've had the speaker of parliament, we've had other dignitaries from the American embassy, the Denmark, the Danish embassy, etc. And today we are glad that the relationship that was created between His Majesty and the Igbo community in Ghana, we had His Eminence himself here today to sign the Book of Condolence, which the Jassy is very much grateful to have him. <laughs> 
With what the chief linguist is saying, he said for the fact that His Majesty is here today, it has taken our memories back to the level of relationship that they had, that unity, that exchange of wisdom and understanding to be able to foster unity among the people the Yubo community in Ghana and also the Ghanaian community or the Ghana community in Yubo, which would also extend as a relationship between the Ghanaian community and the Nigerian community. At this juncture, it is a sad story to announce to His Royal Majesty that that relationship between himself and His Royal Majesty, distinguished fellow New York Breaking Cabaret and the has been put to hold now as it is no more. He said, therefore, there is no more to say that as far as we are concerned, this home is the home of his majesty. So if he's here, he's in his home. And whatever he comes to be here, the community is openly welcome to execute. Um, thank you so much, the linguist. Thank you so much, the entire Osu kingdom. Um, the Igbo community in Ghana, we are seriously in, uh, in a sorrowful time. For we losing a friend, a brother, a father, a king, a mentor. Um, His Majesty, me, King Khan. Um, if you look around, you can see that uh, I'm not just here alone. I came here with other kings that is in charge of uh, Igbo communities in various areas here in Accra, Ghana. Some of them as Chumo Kadibo. And here are also the elders of Igbo community here under the throne of uh, Igbo King in Ghana, which our chairman is also here, Chief Vincent, and our uh, uh, Kinbeka is also here, Komodo um, Chief Johnson, and we have also uh, Chief Wajin and my eldest, we have Chief Douglas, and um, we have um, also Chief Obin. And, uh, we came to support um, whatever that uh, the elders of this palace are planning for the burial of our brother the king. At the same time, we came also to cry with them. We are not here that we are happy, but we are here that we are sad. His Majesty was a man that showed us love. We have so many kings in Ghana that have showed us love, but the love he has showed to us is extraordinary love. And uh, we are not happy that uh, we're not going to see him anymore, but we know we'll meet him in heaven on the last day. Um, he was a man that anytime we call upon him, he responds to us, both on phone, both in physical. Many a times we've been here without getting approval from him for some certain level of discussion. But as soon as he hears we are here, he will abandon every other person sitting down with him and he attend to us. Not one, not two, not three. I can remember we have had so many visitors that came from Nigeria and uh, here become a point of uh, caustic call for them also to sit down with him. To the extent, uh, somewhere 20, 2020, both of us traveled to Nigeria for the 50th year birthday of um, King Apollos. These are things we are missing. And a uh, couple of days before his dismissal, he was at the palace on the 31st of uh, uh, February. 
We sat with him for more than three hours. He came with George and the second son. He said, Your Majesty, from today, these children are your children. You know, then the Friday he died, we spoke on conference call with this Zebo Lekezia around 5 p.m. And surprisingly, yeah, surprisingly, we had these uh, bad, ugly news. We are not happy. I don't know. It will take us the whole year for we to forget about such a uh, great and uh, good father. So, so we came to say sorry to the entire, entire kingdom. We came to say sorry to the entire Ghana. We came to say sorry to the Dakar Regional House of Chiefs because he was the president before his dismissal. So we are praying that God will receive his soul in perfect peace. Amen. So as a community, as a family, we still assure you the kingdom of Osu that will continue the same relationship we had with him. We will not relent back. We will never stop communicating. We will never stop supporting. We will never stop working together, reading together with you. In, all the, in every sector that will make this kingdom known all over the world. Like I was saying, we had programs that we want to run together that will promote the culture of the Gans and the culture of Musu and the Ibus. And that was exactly what we were discussing a couple of hours before he, like, he died. Yes, but uh, we know we must surely continue that. As long as this kingdom exists, we we'll continue that. So on behalf of our community, the elders and kings, we brought water and we brought drinks so as to use it to support and uh, you know welcome every visitor that come around here. And we also assure you that we would like to participate 100% in his funeral. Don't um, forget to inform us anytime the date is fixed. And whatever this community, this uh, kingdom wants us to participate in, let us know. We will because he's also our father yes. and our king. Mm -hmm. Lord bless you all.